Hey, buddies! Potato McWhiskey here, and welcome back to Let's Play Europa Universalis 4 as Yemen. So I think it's time we absorbed some of these states. So let's have a look at um, let's have a look at some of the options here. We would increase our income by one point. Yeah, this one's like this one seems pretty reasonable, and it also actually has potential for further thingies. I do want to try and pick the ones that are filled out as a preference. I don't want to make this into a state because if I make this into a state, it will. Um, I won't be able to make a trade company there. I know that. I, I. I feel like I've read that somewhere. I don't want to make these states. No, no. Yeah, this. This is a good one. I like this one. This is another good one. It has the autonomy here? Pretty crap. Red Sea Hills, hell yeah. Where is Mogostan? Yes, let us absorb Mogostan into our bosom. Alright. So, that's a lot of cores we're going to have to deal with now. Got a lot of admin points we need to use up to... Uh, get these uh get these things coring it does mean the autonomy is going to start changing in our empire but i'm actually feeling really good about our empire but i think the ulema are going to need more provinces i think i want to give them a fairly big province this time so let's go into the b and then what is the estates nine i gotta start using hotkeys more i think i'm going to make an effort to try to do that so i'm going to give them this province because it's a fairly big one and where's another one ah uh, right here I'll give them these two provinces, that'll make them nice and happy, keep them happy with me. Uh, speaking of which, I'm going to actually see if I can interact with you, Lemma. What if I made a generous donation, they would gain, I could demand administrative support. So if I made a generous donation, and I demanded administrative support, I would lose a little bit of a bonus, but it would mean I could make core some more of these guys. Which is, you know... After all, where you want to be. Uh, speaking of which, I am building a spy network over here in Brunei. I, could, I actually want to be moving an army over here eventually. But for now, I need more points. Okay. So, Mamluks wise, when is our truce up with the Mamluks? We've got 15 years for the truce. We've also got a bunch of rebels to deal with. So I'm going to kind of play it safe for now. I'm not going to. Uh, I'm not going to upgrade this military tech yet. I'm going to instead uh, look for maybe going into the development here and maybe spending some of my capital here. Although I want to. Before I do that, actually, I would rather wait until institutions, the next institution appeared. God, I really hope it appears in my capital. Really tempting to spend stuff there. Delhi. Oh, actually, I could be making friends over here. Let's have a look at the complex web of alliances that's going on. So, Gujarat. I could be using v Vijayanagar. I could be using Afghanistan and Vijayanagar to go be going against Gujarat. So, I'm going to see if I can make friends with uh, Afghanistan. And you. And then I'm going to use you guys to help me fight against Gujarat. Because Gujarat has like pretty good allies. But I, I feel like me, Afghanistan and Vijayanagar could take on these four guys, no problem. Especially once I, once I have my... Uh, current problems dealt with. I'm not going to make friends with Delhi, though. If I look over here at my relationship slots, yeah. Okay. Definitely agree some of my provinces do lack cores. I'm kind of scared, though. We're in a really precarious situ situation here because we have so much unrest. Uh, I will take royal marriages. That's fine. I'll, I I'd have no problem breaking those. Uh, let's get the legitimacy because that'll lower my unrest a little bit.
I'm going to do a bit of harsh treatment here for the absolutism increases. Um, the little bit of absolutism that you can pick up there will really, really make a difference long term. Uh, in particular for the administrative efficiency, which I believe lowers how much overextension you can have. Yeah. Now, I'll get a bit more administrative efficiency here in a few techs. And I'm pretty sure... One of these, one of these things in here somewhere gives you some extra as well. Humanism is so good, I maybe should have taken it. Just because it makes it so much easier to uh, incorporate new conquests. I think humanism is really good when your religion is homogenous. Which it kind of is over here, so maybe it would have been a good move to do it. Um, the state of constant war has eroded our economy. Ooh. I will go for a royal marriage with Afghanistan. I want to solidify those relationships. Now, some people are a little bit angry with my aggressive expansion. So where is the coalition? Okay, so some people are worried about my AE. So I'm going to set uh, my... I'm going to set a couple of diplomats here, which is zero, to outraged countries and hopefully they will uh, burn down that over that uh whatever you call it aggressive expansion bit of a bit of a you know I mean there are downsides to doing what we did just there where we take a big chunk of land that we didn't necessarily have the uh, ability to or like the claims or whatever so truce with a doll has ended although I don't feel safe going to the truce with a breaking my truce with a doll until um Till some other things have happened. I will reduce Beja. Where is Beja? It should be like down here, right? Ah, uh, what? Suikin. So, uh, it's over here. I want a harsh treatment for absolutism points. We're going to wait for the cores to appear. Whoa, where are you going? The Mamluks will almost certainly be rebelling here very, very soon. Yeah, they're going to rebel next month. Fires are almost certainly going to rebel next month as well. Uh, I'm afraid the Emirs, I do not have the resources right now to give you what you want. So what I'm going to do is just not and call you a diet later. I can call a diet next year. Holy Roman Empire has elected a new thingy. So let's send two stacks over here. So that rebellion, that should have put the Mamlukian rebellion to bed for at least a while. We'll have to go deal with the Farsian rebellion now. I'm still super overextended, but that should go away soon. Now we do get extra separatism, which is obviously not what we want. But we it's it's we can deal with it. Oh, we lost a military leader. Damn. I think that was the one that was drilling, maybe? You never know. But yeah, eventually I want to do a huge investment into my navy at one point. That would be really fun for me. Um I need a core here. These are going to start flipping soon, which will start to bring down that overextension. Only one needs to really pop, and then it'll come down. 28th of August. And there we go. Overextension is no longer dangerously high. It's still high. It's just not horrific. Okay, here's some particularists for us to deal with. Dumiat is now considered part of our patrimony. Alright, overextension now is down to a manageable level, I feel. We had a few rebels, as expected. Um, 
Let's spend some time doing mosques. There's a good few mosques in here that are worth building. Give us a bit of cash. Alrighty. I feel like we're starting to get a handle on things. This was an expensive battle. Let's clean up these provinces. Military technology, okay. Core provinces. We need a little bit more points. Oh no, we lost our diplomat. Uh, who gives the diplomat? Is it the merchants? Is that the master of the mint? Give me your money, Dimmy. Alright, uh... So I guess I'm just going to have to deal with a level 2 guy for a while. Trade efficiency is fine. So I know there's there's a there's, there's different there's trade Where is it? Is it political? Geographic. There's colonial and trade regions. Can I see how do how do they how do they turn these provinces? Is this a trade company here? Is there, is there a trade company here? Yeah, they have trade companies. I just don't remember how to do it, god damn it. I swear it's a thing that I can do. I just don't know how to do it. Ugh. Well, look, I give up. I've I've tried a bunch of different things to... I, I've, I've looked everywhere I think it is, but I just can't find the button. Kahira. Okay, we need a couple of months here before we'll be able to get that. Particularists. Oh, that's right. We still have to deal with these guys. Uh, let's consolidate all these front lines. Meet up in this province and then hit these guys hard. So we'll conjoin... We'll shift, consolidate, and we'll attack. Should be a pretty easy kill. Okay, and then we'll split this in half. And then that'll be that. Alright, nice one. Feels good. We managed to get a handle on all of the rebels, basically. One more province to core. There we go. Okay, so we have a bunch of cash. We're getting very close to some to the next uh, thingy happening. Next institution, which is manufactories. I'm really hoping it appears for me. I would be I'm gonna be slightly miffed if it doesn't. But I'm pretty sure it's gonna appear anywhere there's a manufactory, so it might be a good time to get these built. Because they do take 60 months. So if there's any of them that I want to build, for example, this mill in Qatar would be uh absolutely viable. Wait, why are you not able to build that mill? Simply because we don't have enough cash, okay. So we'll save up for the mill. So I'm going to shut down all of this because I want all that cash diverted to the mill. Quarantine the port, yes, it's the only way. By the way, if you do not quarantine the port, that will spread forever in your nation, and it is so painful. Never, ever don't quarantine the port. Super recommend against that option. So we're going to build this in Qatar. Where else could we build these? 4, 8, 6, 1, 6, 2. Dashistan isn't bad. Some of these aren't terrible. Still could get a tech here. Merchant guilds would lose loyalty. A mild reprimand will be enough. The Amirs have lost the diet held. There. 
be friendly with me again, Amirs. Alrighty. I'm starting to feel pretty good about this. Uh, I don't have the multicultural nation anymore, though, which... Slightly miffing. Tigray. Where is the Tigray? Oh yeah, it's a doll. So yeah, now that we've we've handled all of the revolts, I feel. There's the Bejans, but who cares about them? Let's go ahead and have a look at our autonomy. Uh can I start to lower autonomy? I want to decrease that autonomy almost purely with the perspective of getting more absolutism. We're up to 22. Which brings us up to really good administrative efficiency, really nice discipline. Feeling pretty good about that. Uh, so I think it's time to go to war with Adal. Ethiopia has a bunch of cores. I don't like how... Oh, they've even been making claims too. Very nice. So let me, let me see if I can get a claim myself. What's this one? Last Cody? I want all their coastal things. I don't know why I want the coastal things. It's just I think I want a bigger navy. So I'm going for that. Uh, let's move my armies over here. You need to finish that siege. Okay, that's fine. I'm not going to be declaring war just yet, but I'm I'm on the I'm on the road to war with them. Oh, maximum monarch power in uh, mill. So let's have a look. Uh, let's look for cheap places with. Local manpower modifier is good. But local manpower value is what I'm really looking for. Get a few. Just kind of, I got to spend down to like 600. There. So that should have boosted our manpower a decent amount. A good use of monarch power, I feel. Could have also just recruited like a few generals. Uh, get that military professionalism up a little bit. Let's see. Grant privileges, national tax modifier. Yes, I would like that. I would lose 10 legitimacy, which does hurt in some areas of like unrest and stuff like that. But the emirs would gain loyalty. The merchants would lose loyalty. I'm going to take it. That's 10% tax modifier. It's really, really nice. Considering we're making so much money right now. Okay, so let's have a look at trade depots. Oh my god, some of these trade depots. Yeah, these need to happen. Don't really care about sailors. Local manpower modifiers would be nice, though. Yeah, we need to start, we need to start upgrading ourselves. So here's Langar, ba, Badar, Bandar Langa. Oh, we need to, we need to fabricate claims here in the, uh, the Mamelukes. So let's have a look at Iskandria. Uh, Bahiria. Fabricating more and more claims on these guys. Mm, look at this nation, man. This is a really nice nation. I'm really happy about it. I'm feeling, feeling really good about this. Oh, I have a merchant sitting around. What am I doing? Seriously though, if anyone knows why I can't find the button that makes a trade company, please let me know. It's actually kind of really aggravating me. Okay, Brunei has been discovered over here. 
Oh no, our thing was re our thing was reset just as I was about to claim provinces. Oh no! That's gonna put us behind actually a little bit. It's okay. They must have known I was looking to do it. Oh, you need a leader. Mysticism, drill. So I'm drilling slowly so that I can spend money on reinforcing them without raising army maintenance. Ethiopia is still pretty annoyed that I enforced my religion, which is like, you know, it's their own problem. Sampit has become self-sustaining. Excellent. So let's do the next colony over. There's a religious center. Ooh. Very nice. So how much am I pulling forward? I'm increasing outgoing value by a big chunk. How much am I pulling though? How much value do I have here? I have very little. I'm still pulling some. Ah oh, man, is it time to start working on my... My shipyard? Stuff? It might actually be time to start working on shipyard shipyards. No, I think that'll come in a little bit. That'll come soon. Right now we want to build um, these things. Uh, the... What you call them? Manufactories. Because that's going to be really important for... I'm 90% sure it's effect... This spreading of this institution is, is affected by where manufactories are on the map. I'm getting really into this EU4 game, man. Oh, it's so exciting. Okay, you're almost fully reinforced. Let's drill you as well to get you reinforced. I'm making like 50 ducats a turn. Bajan separatists. Where is this? Where is this? I'll just harsh treat them. I've got a surplus of uh, mill points anyway. Naval professionalism. Trade range, trade efficiency, max promoted cultures. Nice. This has been converted. Exciting news. I don't really need... I guess you don't really need religious ideas anymore. You just need trade ideas. can work as religious ideas if you're um, Islamic, which is really cool. Because they have those special benefits. Uh, in here, for example. Maximize profit. Hostile trading. Uh, inland routes and established communities. But I like the maximize profit thing. But yeah, I've got my friends over here. They both have claims on Gujarat. Yes, so I'm going to want to get claims on Gujarat myself. Right now I'm kind of focused on Adal. Uh, should I even bother with Mushasha? I think I should. Because there are some... Like, I would like this entirety of Basra and Khuzestan. Yeah, I want these two. I may even just force my way through and grab them. And then leave this for the Ottomans. How's the Ottomans feel about me? They should be pretty happy to be my ally still. Yep. Okay, so you can stop drilling now. This loyal estate, the Dimi. Oh, that's fine. No. So where's Sina? So I think the trade goods here. Why is it so weak? What if I invested here? Trade value, multi-production. Gems are worth a lot in trade value. I'm going to go ahead and build a mill.
I'm trying to maximize my um, manufacturing value right now. Anything close to like one, one ducat is pretty good in my eyes. I'm making an absurd amount of money right now. It feels good. Ah, spice trade. Price of spices increased. Ooh. So is it time to move over here yet? Let's see. Would I make more? Here. That's my trade power. No, not yet. I'd need I'd need all these other provinces. And I would need to build um marketplaces, which actually I should absolutely get these things done. Okay, so I think it's time to fully my army and declare war on a doll. Let's pull this guy back. We'll wait a couple of months for this. Really, I should have moved an army over to that place that I was talking about, but you know. A doll embraced the printing press. New tech. Nah, we don't want to take the new tech yet. Do we? Maybe. Maybe we do. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll kind of think about that in the next episode. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Please remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Remember to leave a like if you want to directly support my channel. And remember to leave a comment if you want to give me your feedback. Other than that, though, I want to say I love you all very much. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.